A nuclear energy company is moving here to Indiana with big plans to build multiple reactors in the state, all to meet the growing demand that we have right now for electricity. Our Rich Nye has been following the governor's push for nuclear energy for several months, and Rich joins us in studio tonight. He's got details of this announcement. Rich? This company is First American Nuclear. They're moving their headquarters from Washington State to the Indianapolis area early next year. But the more important question is where's this company going to build what it calls an energy park with a six pack of small nuclear reactors. This is a rendering provided by First American Nuclear of what the energy park might look like. The CEO told me the company is looking at several potential sites in rural Indiana to build a first of its kind power plant in the United States. We're talking with a couple of different local utilities and being able to work with them and some regional developers that are focused on bringing data centers and heavy industry into the state so that we can sort of combine all those pieces together and support the state in the, from power grid perspective for the utility, but also then have a customer that can really help you know, usher in the, the next generation of power here. Nuclear is the fuel of the future and the energy source of the future. And so by bringing not just the deployment of nuclear energy, but also bringing those jobs for the nuclear industry, it will bring prosperity to Indiana. This is the Eagle One small modular reactor. First American Nuclear says each reactor can power about 250,000 homes. The park eventually might have a six pack of reactors at a facility that reprocesses and reuses spent nuclear fuel. That spent fuel is waste from a traditional thermal reactor, but in a fast reactor like ours, that's really more fuel. And we can reuse that fuel, fuel several times and eliminate 97% of that long lived waste. Citizens Action Coalition responded with skepticism on next generation nuclear reactors being cost effective. Executive Director Kerwin Olson wrote, Affordable, clean, and truly safe technologies like wind and solar are available today. There's no need to squander billions in ratepayer and taxpayer money down the nuclear rabbit hole. And Governor Braun has set a goal of Indiana producing nuclear power by 2032. And tomorrow the governor and Purdue University are hosting the Global Nuclear Energy Economic Summit mm. in West Lafayette. And I'll be there as the governor continues to push forward this nuclear energy initiative. Be interesting to see what Hoosiers think about having nuclear energy here in Indiana. We'll Especially see. if it's your backyard. Yeah, That's right. That, that is the point. It's like yep. I want the electricity. I want what I want when I want it, but not near me. No risk. Yep. Right. All right. Rich. Thank you, Rich. Thanks. Stay on it. <laughs>